Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. This is a, uh, a Permanent Record Studios endorsed Lucky Springs Hard Lemonade. That looks cute. Oh, nice. Endorsed? I'm, I'm not sure if we endorsed it. Came out of your fridge, bro. Okay. Yeah, it came out of your fridge. You supplied <laughs> it to your clients. You supply it to everybody here. We, we vouch for everything in that fridge. Mm-hmm. It's from his beer pod. He tried to give me a stout beer, but that sounded pretty gross. The dark ones? Yeah, I don't I don't like that. There's some month old spaghetti in the fridge too, if you want to try that. <laughs> I vouch really? for it. We love Who's spaghetti. Cold spaghetti. I probably Mike's. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Who <laughs> whose else could it be, Grant, if it's not yours? <laughs> if it's not mine, it's, it's probably mine. Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Grant uh avoided us last podcast. It's laying low a little bit. Yeah, you did, and you were just hesitant when you when I asked when we asked you where you were. You said it took you a second, mm. so that almost makes me think you were lying. You really didn't have to look at your kids. I, look I at looked. Them. I was looking up and to the right when I said kids, which means that's I'm what lying. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. We well, all sure have it hot in here today. Is it warm? It's either cold or hot. Or I'm kidding. I just kind of said He's that. Wearing, I have sweatpants. He has on. sweatpants. Are you, you have pants on? Are you warm? I have pants on. It's kind of warm in here. Yeah, Grant, did you not feel that? It's hot as hell in here. I'm you sorry. Have on. I'll see if I can go turn They the probably AC had on. that uh, acro yoga guy in here doing a hot yoga workout. Yeah, was he doing something in here? He was making it nice and steamy for you guys. We were listening to something earlier that y'all put out the uh, permanent RCRD. What was that? You can do like fiction crime stuff here <laughs> what? yeah what was it it was whatever people were was talking post- yeah people were talking on it sounded it. like from the 50s or something they were acting oh they were doing one of these <laughs> sort yeah of. i wish i wish it was like that. <laughs> oh it was like a, a radio drama yeah radio drama oh okay yeah yeah i think that's mike's project it is yeah cool cool grant said that like he doesn't really think it's probably too good <laughs> I, I just honestly haven't checked it out yet. So okay. I feel a little, I feel a little be, guilty. What would be one of Mike's deals? Yeah, Mike's do you deal. think it's not going to be good because Mike's in, is Mike is <laughs> Mike is doing it? No, Mike's Mike's great. He's Mike he's did brilliant. a great job last time. Was he good with the guys last time? Very week? good. Very yeah, good. it was nice yeah. hearing from him. Still funny. Yep. William still thinks you guys sound the same. Sound very much the same on the mic. Me and Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think so? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. He's he's pretty pretty gentle, pretty soft spoken. Yeah, not like hard ass Grant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I've I've done my time. I'm kind of rough around the edges. Right. Yeah. What I want to know, Grant, is how this went down. Where like we were emailing, and I said, and and I want to thank you first of all for moving your time around because I was the one who needed the time moved, oh, right. and you were very gracious. But then I said, yeah, we'll. You know, that's, this time will work. It was like five to seven or something like that. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have my kids there. And I was like, <laughs> oh, great. We love kids. Yeah, that would have been wonderful. <laughs> I said, we love kids with an exclamation point. <laughs> and then I never heard back. And then you and didn't then, bring your kids. And then Grant. he wasn't here. <laughs> but then you came back here to do your other podcast because Mike said you were doing the Star yeah, they, Trek pa- podcast. You were doing the Star Trek when I after us oh right 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 no actually uh okay a few things i can explain if, if this is super interesting to the audience i don't know um first off i got the day wrong when i thought you guys were coming in so i had to pick up my kids from school and i was going to bring them in but then last minute i was able to get a friend to watch the kids so i came over here set everything up and then i realized you guys weren't coming in that day you were coming in on thursday the next day so that's when i texted you and went oh i'm an idiot I definitely can't do tomorrow, so I got Mike to come, and and he could cover you guys. All right. So that's the super yeah, fascinating. Right, you guys. Did you bring your picture? It's not as interesting <laughs> yeah, as you think. 
Did no. you bring your picture? <laughs> Damn it. No. That's why he skipped last week. Yeah, that's time. why you skipped last week. You guys don't, you also don't <laughs> want to see this photo. <laughs> yeah, we all want to see it. And that's probably why you didn't show up last week. No. He's I, glad I, to come in for his podcast with Mike, Star Trek Deep Space Nerds. Yeah. <laughs> but he won't come in when he's, with his kids. Deep he space won't bring nerds. In. Honestly, it's a fun podcast. It's called uh, Star Trek Discovery Pod. I actually haven't been on it in the past few months either. So really? Why not? Are um, you all fighting? He got, no. <laughs> he got beamed down to a planet and he can't get back. Get along with them, great. I got a little bit um, burned out on the show itself and I didn't want to talk about it anymore. Why? Just uh, too much Star Trek talk? He doesn't want to yeah. talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. What? Is there only so much you can talk about? No, I, I, I just got bored of the show. He's entering a new... Fair enough. He's entering a new phaser of his life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that what they use in Star Trek? Phasers, phasers right? They do. That's... Set your phasers to stun. Super dorky. Is that what they say? <laughs> yeah. What is it, like a gun? Yeah, it's like a little laser. It's like a laser gun. gun. Yeah. But they're, you know... Captain Kirk is compassionate, so he always always wants it set to stun, just knock him down, you know. Oh, so they could you could kill They're, somebody. Oh yeah, you can set it to obliterate or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Grant, why do you do that? What's up with the <laughs> so dog? Cute. I think you and the puppies just look adorable together. Put blueberries behind him. You want you want some blueberries? You're just kind of you are very them? blue today, William. Yeah, we're the. Uh... Blue sweatpants, which I love, even though it's kind of warm, and I'm waiting for it to storm here. Isn't it supposed to storm here? It was supposed to storm today. They've been talking to? about it for days. We brought all of the furniture in from the patio. We took all oh, of our you? wind. We had a wind, big wind chime. We took out of the tree. We, we made all the necessary. And now purpose. nothing's happened. Nothing. Is it going to later on? I like a good yeah. storm. Yeah, we have stuff out on the patio. We were wondering if we should bring it inside. It, but now nothing's to- happened. It's supposed to get gnarly in like the next hour or so. While we're here. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, is there a, a plan if there's a uh, tornado? Where do we Is there a go? basement? You guys are probably in the safest room. I might just come in there and join you. Cool. You'd come in here? If that, if you would let me. Do we have to pay yeah. to stay here? <laughs> Hourly? <laughs> yeah, how much would y'all charge for us to have to stay here? Yeah, well, the building fell in on you, but you were trapped in the rubble for four days, so that's so much an hour. You owe us $3,000. How much is your life worth? <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, you don't want to ask that. You're talking to comedians. <laughs> Blueberries. So what have you guys been up to? I haven't seen you in a in a bit. How's, how's life? What's happening? <laughs> Been pretty good. Went to uh, I went to L.A. on Friday. Yeah, to do a thing at the in the belly room. Nice comedy store. Yeah, it was fun. I met some uh, when I got off the airplane at LAX. I started talking to uh, a nice older Jewish lady named Kitty, <laughs> and we ended up sharing an Uber back nice. to the. They were Hollywood. waiting for a shuttle, and then she's like, "Hey." They've gone like three shuttles. Do you want to just split an Uber? <laughs> And then we just talked, and her mom had just died, and her grandmother oh. had, great grandmother had died the month before, and one of her daughters is on TikTok, and her son has really gotten out of his shell in LA, and he's getting invited <laughs> to the Grammys, and <laughs> she's just telling me all this shit. Yeah, that's nice. Well, you're very, I know it was you're sweet. You're a personable young man, and and people enjoy having conversations with you. It was sweet. She gave me her business card. She used really? to be a lawyer. Let's get her on the show. Oh my god! I know. I have her phone number. I almost brought the business card, and then I we'll get it. We'll, really we'll call her. We'll definitely get her on. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, it would be nice to. Yeah, her name was like Houston. Kitty. Yeah, or and something. she said her her daughter does well on TikTok. The daughter does something on TikTok where she lip syncs like comedians doing their sets. Oh no! <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. That seems worse than people lip syncing a song. Oh no. Doesn't that she's sound weird? Got, it's terrible. And she's probably got <laughs> 10 God. million followers. She probably gets more views than the actual comedians. She's killing us. Jokes. She's killing us. Right. That's for sure. For sure. Oh, no. Yeah, the daughter did that. <laughs> That's fun. So how was LA? How was the... It was fun. The comedy store was fun. Was luckily... I ate at Mel's Diners beforehand. Always good. Diner. Yeah, it was good. Was I had a tuna fish. Like 12 hours. Yeah. 
Luckily, we staying in a hotel pretty close by because after meals, I had to take a giant doo doo. So I was able to walk from the comedy store to the hotel. And yeah, you don't want to do that at the comedy store. And it was a big one because we had eaten some pasta the night before. Some wonderful pasta. What were the, was that pasta called? The shape of it? We did like big ziti with chicken breast. Ziti. Ziti. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good with arbiata. That sounds right. delicious. Yeah, it was good. I ate the whole thing of that, and then, yeah, I had to do-do real bad. But it was fun <laughs> out of, there were two shows. It was something for, like, a Netflix comedy uh, festival or something. Uh-huh. Keep, out of probably people 20, watching the comedians. Out of probably 24 people in two shows, I was one of, like, two or three white guys, so I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally... Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah. I have no idea. No idea either. Hard to say. But it was fun up there. The uh was hanging out out front. Some it seemed like a good amount of people, but like between ten and eleven or nine and ten, I can't remember. I was there for a while. I just poked my head in the uh the main room and some girl was up there. I'm sure she's funny, but she was doing some weird thing with the uh uh thing up on the stage, the what are those things called? You sit on <laughs> a stool. stool. Yeah, the stool. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing something weird with the stool, and there were literally forty people in the main room at like again she nine or ten. The stool? Something like that. I remember her name, but I was thinking I might. I'm Don't say it. Say it. Don't yeah. say it. God, she was. But I'm. I'm sa- I see that, and then I look in there, and there's like forty people in there, and I was like, ah, yeesh. But I think they're I think they're slowly getting back. I mean, I always loved it there in the belly room. It was filled up. Comedy it was fun. Is, it's the best comedy club in the world, I think. Yeah, I love it's it. It's the most fun. And it's been a struggle for them because LA is still It's still different. Different. And we've been in Texas for so long where people stopped giving a fuck about the pandemic a year ago. I know. Yeah, you still have to wear your masks uh-huh. inside and stuff. You actually didn't have to in there. But I think that had just changed. Yeah, you got to be vaccinated too, right? Yeah, I had to email to like the email address that I had to send the picture of my vax card was like vax at the comedy store dot com. I was like, that <laughs> seems silly. They have their own email address for people to send in the vax yeah. cards, which whatever. Yeah, I guess that's the rules. I don't, I don't give a shit. It just seems kind of weird. I don't. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Well, but it fun. was it was fun. I was trying not to look at the note card, but I had to. I ate. Uh, we need to give you some edibles. I went by the PO box, and somebody sent a big box of individually wrapped edibles. Nice. I know. I know. Let's figure out a good. time this week or something. Right. But I'll break it. But they seem good. But I ate half of it. Each square is. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, geez, those are big. I actually ate one on the way here. <laughs> relax packs. I don't know. I can't remember who this is. Uh... You're going to be super relaxed, dude. <clears throat> but I got high Let's as see. shit for the... Uh... Comedy store? For the comedy store thing. Yeah. But it was nice. fun. Good. And then I was real worried on the plane ride back that I was going to crash because it was seeming like it was real bumpy and... Seemed like they were going too fast on the approach. Is that what they call it when they're about to land? It seems uh-huh. like they were going way Coming too fast. Too hot. It seemed like it. Man, there was a plane coming in too hot in China earlier. There's He's a video. He's also obsessed with cr- plane crashes. I saw the video. Did you see about. the video? That's I heading saw the like video. You're one talking. angle straight is heading down. straight down. Straight down. Can you imagine being in a plane that's crashing, going straight into the ground? That I mean, it's so sad. It's terrible. But I, I mean, I guess in that instance, it wouldn't it's like, hurt. Yeah, you're. Right? It's gonna be instant. You're just gonna be like, all right, the force. It's going to look like that. Actually, it's not, not going to look, gonna like, look it's like, like It's going to look like there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, Straight just down. like a, a dirt spot. Yeah. Man, that was incredible. scary. I wonder what your happened. your flight had a lot of turbulence on it. Does that scare you? Are, are, you, a, are you scared on, in the air sometimes? By... Oh, yeah. And especially, I don't normally eat the edibles, but <laughs> I ate the one, and man, they, they immediately get me. I'm thinking, oh, what is the, what are those noises happening? I think they're just regular plane noises, but like, or the engine will like slow down a little, or I'll feel like the plane slowing down. I'm like, why is the plane slowing down? Yeah. Are we about to start free falling? Uh-huh. But like the plane today, I wonder what happened. Was it the pilot? It sounds like I maybe no he fell off the plane or something. I, who knows? Yeah, who knows? I saw that video though. I mean, it's literally coming straight down into the ground. It's it's really wild. Woo. 
not mm. good. Yeah, do you think if you're heading straight down, you're probably out of your seat? I wonder if some people didn't have like their seat belts on. Like, do you think some people are literally just flying floating? The back? Yeah, the, yeah. Woo. I wonder what you would even do. Would you try to get your cell phone out and say like goodbye to somebody or something? I guess. Would that even go through? I was wondering that because at one point I was thinking <laughs> well, the plane hopefully. was crashing, and I was like, okay. Your last I... thought would be, God damn, fucking no AT&T. Wi-Fi. Yeah, if you don't have Wi-Fi with the thing ever send. No. And then if it's destroyed. Just done. Yeah, that's scary. That's too bad. Yikes. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I've never been in a a scary plane situation. You went on that private plane. That's terrifying. No, that was that was So that seemed safe? Yeah, I felt... Other than the fact that there was only one pilot, and that made me a little nervous. There, yeah, if he has a heart attack or something. We're fucked. <laughs> but there was no there was no time during the flight where anything was weird. Like those things are really powerful. It just took right off. Like we were up in the air in no time. It didn't feel like you were on a cuz I've been on some puddle jumpers too. Like we I was in Hawaii <laughs> a few years ago. And we went from Oahu to Maui, and you just take this tiny little plane. How was that? Was that? And it was like a rattly little thing. Damn. You know, but this private jet thing that we went on with Tony was uh, not like that at all. It was it was pretty badass. That's fun. Yeah, I asked Tony if something ever happened in one of those planes. He said he could land it. I wonder if that's true. He would be our best hope. Yeah. So yeah, think yeah. about that. Yeah. Your life comes down to, to the golden pony. One of the <laughs> top, that plane. One of the top it. young rising pilots in America. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. How was your week? Yeah, what have you been doing? I started a new job. I know, I know. How's it going? My shirt. Yeah, I work. Uh, it's good. I work at the uh, the new Tesla factory now. That's why I have to wear a hat because I just came straight from work and my hair is all messed up because I have to wear a hard hat. Does it get hot under Old there? Cat and hard hat. Yes. Wait, what yes. does your hair look like? You want to see? <laughs> yeah. Cool. It looks good. Does it? Yeah, it looks totally yeah, fine. Yeah, it's kind of gross. So, but it's the hard hat's only because uh, it's still they're still building this factory. They're making cars there, but they're still building the factory at the same time. So it's an active construction zone. So we have to wear all the safety. Does it seem dangerous? No. Not really. Are you working with some nice people? Have you met some other yeah, people? Yeah, everyone's been very cool. Cool. The place is incredible. It's so huge. Yeah, it's giant, isn't it? It's 10 million square feet. Oh, my God. Wait, so what are you- <laughs> There it is. There it is. Look at it. Jeez. Do you I've get... never been good with square feet. I don't. I know 10 million sounds like a whole bunch, though. What is our, <laughs> our apartment's like? Yeah, what's what? the apartment? It's like 800 <laughs> yeah. square feet. Okay, so- What's a hotel room? Like 800 square feet? So 700? It's, it's a little more than 10,000 of your apartments. Cool. Okay. I can kind of picture that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you had to like- you got up out of bed and you yeah. had to take a leak in the middle of the night, but the bathroom was in the 10,000th apartment away and you had to walk past 10,000 apartments Walmart. to the bathroom. That's how big it is. I just go pee in the sink. <laughs> Sometimes I have to pee in the sink. No, you don't. You don't know. I never tell you about it. Yeah, I pee in the sink all the time. Yeah. I just put some soap I've in there. I've done that before. Sometimes you have to. Yeah. He tried to pee on me today. <laughs> What? Yeah, and then she sprayed bleach start... on me. Wait, no, we... I didn't. Because I, I think I blocked it out of my mind. I I'm it almost was literally like forty up. minutes ago. Yeah, I blocked <laughs> it out of my mind already. Well, first, I don't. I was just like putting lotion on, and he poops, and then he rubs his penis on me, and he's like, ah, and he's like, there's. People don't want to hear that. And then he's like, there was TT on there. <laughs> And I was like, "You're." I was like, "What's wrong with you?" Yeah, I got some TT on you. And then he's in the shower. He's like, "Erica, Erica, I have something in my hair. Please, um, make it uh colder. It's too hot." And so I do the thing to, you know, make it colder. And then he tries to pee on my hand while I'm trying to do the thing. And I was like, "For the old grab the uh, tap and change the temperature trick." And I was like, "You just (laughs) peed on the handle." So I went and sprayed the handle, and I squirted him in the leg with the all-purpose spray. You guys have you guys have fun water games. Yeah, sometimes we totally Have you got that know. bidet hooked up yet? <laughs> no, you have yeah, to do it. We need right, help. I'll, I'll do it. I, yeah, we need help. Crazy with uh, 
Yeah, you, it's been crazy. I've been doing this other thing, so I'll come over and hook it up for you. Honestly, it only takes five minutes. Cool. Okay. And then it's gonna. And our be... water level's higher in the toilet now, though, so I don't know if that would affect. Us. Won't I make don't any think. difference. I don't think it okay. doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just a uh, you're just connecting it to the to the line that comes in to the tank. Because I need to do something. Because when I was out of town, Erica sent me some picture of like hair with like doo doo on and it boogers. and <laughs> boogers and it's like you have to stop doing it because yeah I'll I totally like, stop using the, the shower. shower as a personal toilet I told him I was like I was cute and quirky at first but now it's just like a habit you got yeah that was kind of sweet of you you were like yeah it was sweet at first I'll come no, over tomorrow after I get off work I'll swing by and, and hook it up for you cool. okay. we'll, life changing event Cool. Your your life will be. You'll think of things like, oh, I I don't even want to think about the time before I had this bidet hooked up. And you could still hop in the shower. It'll just take most of it off. Yeah. Just think about using the toilet paper to dry your butt instead of wiping your butt. Okay. That I don't always want to get in the shower. Sometimes I'm like, oh, oh I man, the, the towel's kind of wet. I don't want to <laughs> use this wet. I had to. I, in fact. Uh, since we're just going to stay on the pooping thing, yeah. I today, I've been uh, working at, uh, uh, at Tesla for for this is my third week. It was your first okay. time pooping at work? My first poop at work. Today. Oh, really? Yep. I hope you were How clocked was it? in. Oh, hell yes. Good. Yeah, you got to be. Yeah, How was it? It was great. Congrats. And I can't remember the last time that I did that because the last full time job I had, I ne- well, I worked at the comedy store for a while. Yeah, but I never pooped there. Yeah, you don't have no to poop way. at those hours. Yeah. No way. And uh, and <laughs> the job I had before that, when I lived in Illinois, was uh, like an outdoor construction job. So I never, I I never pooped uh, porta in potty. a porta potty. No way, gross. That seems like a worst case scenario. Yeah, porta potty. yeah. So it was your first poop at this a job in a long time. Clock. How was it? How was the toilet paper? Uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. That's always the negative part about peeing in public. A lot yeah. of times people don't want to splurge on the good Charmin or. No, it wasn't great, but One you know, pie. it was okay. I got through it, but I did feel good about pooping on the clock. I, I know. Like, that's this is cool. Good. I'm getting paid to do this. Yeah. That's always Excellent. good. And the problem with that is that so is everybody else. So the line to poop. There's always a line, and the people are not in any hurry in there. Is you know it one I mean? room, or is it a bunch of stalls? <laughs> well, or there was like ten stalls in this bathroom. But I mean, this place is still... everyone's pooping. Well, I mean, there's problem. I mean, there's how many people work there? Lots, and so there's a not, ton of people. There's not even they're not even close to being fully staffed. But like, so like the production line and the warehouse line, they're still adding people all the time. Yeah, but I think like the engineers and stuff. They're like most of them are hired. Like the mm-hmm. that and that's the bathrooms I went to because I don't want to use the cr- shitty ones. I go up to the upstairs to where the engineers and the computer guys are. Why doesn't everybody do that? They just don't think to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, everyone kind of did because I had to wait in line. Yeah. yeah so yeah. and then, but no one's in a hurry. You know, everyone's in the stall. They're doing fucking Sudoku's and you know probably looking at. Kitty's daughter's TikTok where she's lip syncing uh, <laughs> the comedians. A, a Sam Kinison bit. I used to always love w- when I was growing up looking at the back of a shampoo bottle. <laughs> That's what I used to read. Me too. Crying. You'd read anything. I like, Any the, toilet. I like the little picture of how the split end looks on the back of them. <laughs> Is that what got you into hairstyling? <laughs> Probably. Like, oh that was... man, I can change this. It's like the w- <laughs> I loved yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, How was your week, Grant? Are you week? sleeping back there? He's, Sorry, he just came from the off bathroom a little bit. No, uh, my week was good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that I went to firecracker. With Sorry, uh, I went to South by Southwest. Ooh, Uh-oh, how was that? Um, it was great. What kind of my, things did you? Go I dropped to? my kids off uh, with my my folks. And then I got to just go attend a bunch of festival things, some talks and uh, some bars with a bunch of free beer. Nice. Did you get drunk? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Driving around? Uh, no. I was... Do you not drink and drive? N- uh, not on not vocal, not on microphone. I don't. <laughs> so you drink and drive some? No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying I, I'm not going to admit to it. You have a family. You have kids. You need to stop doing that. 
wrong with me? <laughs> yep. This is okay. call a Lyft or an Uber. God, that fucking Uber from the LAX or the coffee store was one hundred and ten dollars. That's ridiculous. One hundred and ten bucks. It took an hour. Yeah, that is. Ridiculous. It wasn't like five. And it's like some bit. sort of Uber scam. Like if it's going or coming from LAX, they only af- offer the black cars. They don't yeah. offer the cheap ones. I got her ass to Venmo me 70 bucks. <laughs> so I got Good. it for 40. You can fly from Austin to LA for cheaper than <laughs> you can car ride. get Uber? the Uber from the LAX to the comedy store. That's not a joke. Gas the was... The flight yeah. to Austin from Austin to LAX is under $100. He sent me a picture of yeah. the gas. It was like 750 yeah, I'd never seen it that high before. Mm-hmm. I couldn't go to a dispensary. I didn't have enough no time. time. Oh, We're out man. of weed. I'm hoping this guy's going to bring me weed tonight. Yeah. I got to buy right. it from him. But yeah, I'm hoping he'll... Uh... Our guest? No, uh, I wish it was him. At Kill Tony. <laughs> at the thing tonight. He's going to come. He says... Right on. We'll see. What is that picture? That's weed and cookies? Edibles. Edibles. Ah, yes. Man, we went to Trader Joe's last week and got all these goodies. They have these uh, uh, chocolate-covered, what is it, coconut things? Oh, his favorite are the, yeah, the almond co- chocolate-covered coconuts. Oh, my gosh. You get a couple, you get like four or five cashews, get two of those and oh, put yeah, them all in your mouth. <laughs> it's party. so good. Trader Joe's is the best. It I is, love- yeah. There's good and those stuff cash there. cashiers always have to talk to the ladies like, and your total sixty nine sixty nine. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> yeah, was 69, I was like, okay, classic. <laughs> I was like, all right, that's great. Funny number. Trader Joe's has good stuff. They have shrimp burgers. Shrimp, mm-hmm. shrimp burgers. Oh They're my gosh! Ba- they are literally just giant. Like prawns. Patty? Yeah. Pressed, uh, and then a bunch of them pressed together. That sounds good. To Into a patty. So it's, it's literally up. only shrimp? It's only shrimp. Oh They're my gosh, great. I was picturing like breading or other stuff yeah, on it. It's just a, just a bunch of shrimp pressed into a disc. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trader Joe has got it figured out. Does it look like that kind of? No, it looks like <laughs> an actual. Yeah, like an actual patty. Yeah. Yeah, like a, like a shitty, frozen, weird weirdly colored translucent hamburger you know that's interesting yeah they're good man i never heard about that he tried to make i tried to make some tuna fish the other week yeah you got us both sick <laughs> i don't i was like was it exp- i don't know what happened, what happened? i checked sick. the cans like four cans Did into you make, it was the mayonnaise maybe the mayonnaise was bad Mm-mm. i think it was good i checked the cans i didn't check the first two cans so maybe it was the first two but i assumed that the last because i did start checking the data i was like what is the date on these and they were fine and it tasted so good yeah it was good and then it was just a bunch of doo-dooing <laughs> then a bunch of shitting yeah i love tuna salad but what is mildly infuriating to me is that you i know i put you know you have to put little pieces of celery into your tuna. You do celery? Do you do hard boiled eggs? Yeah, do you put eggs I in there? I, I don't always, but I would. I okay. like hard boiled eggs. But you put a little bit of celery in there, you know, chop it up real nice and small. But you can't buy a small amount of celery. Like you have to buy like the bag. Oh, yeah, a bunch of stock. Yeah. And then you're not going to use, you know, you don't use 95% of the celery you buy. Right. You know, who is. What even is celery? Where does it grow? On the ground or on a tree or something? <laughs> Where? Yeah, yeah, out of the ground, I think. Celery stalks. Cel- so it's like a carrot. No, it's not a root. Oh, yeah, carrot's a root. Yeah. So what's a celery? Just a celery plant? Yeah, it just grows up out of the ground, I guess. I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Do you know, Grant? I'm pulling up an image for you. Cool. Of what? Celery growing I just saw a picture. Like a celery. Yeah, like a bunch of celery like in a, a field. stalk. Yeah, it- I just saw a picture today of Brussels sprouts growing for the first time. Yeah, it's weird. That's like on a I had tree or no bush. idea. What they enough. look weird, man. Have you ever seen a cashew? Uh. Uh-uh. It's one cashew on a whole fruit. Oh, that's really? oh, celery. Oh yeah, they have the little See? tree tops. I forget about that. Yeah, a field of celery. Yeah, you need one one hundredth of one percent of one of those stalks for your tuna salad, but you got to take the whole thing home with you. Because you got to have it because it gives it a good crunch. We ended gives up, it that he, crunch. You need that crunch. You need a crunch in that. He I didn't, totally agree. He didn't want it at first, but I chopped some up on the side, and then we ended up 
See? Using it. You got to have that. I <laughs> totally gotta have agree. Got to have the crunch. You need eggs. We you didn't need... have eggs in it. That's we didn't it. have eggs. Yep, you're right. But it didn't Those matter because we had to throw it all away. <laughs> you got Whoppers over there, too. My One of my favorites. Okay. Is that? I love Whoppers. Malted milk balls. Yeah. Do you like yeah. malted milk? I don't know. I think I probably <laughs> only had malted milk when wrapped around a Whopper. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have some Ovaltine. Oh, like uh, malt. like ne- like uh, Nesquik. Yeah, like Nesquik, but Ovaltine. Ovaltine is my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has vitamins and minerals. It's good for you, isn't it? Yep. It's real good for you. That's why I drink it. But yeah, normally I didn't think I like malt, but then I've been drinking this new uh, thing, and it's malted. All right. Yeah, really That's good. good. <laughs> I love well, that. you. I'll tell you what. I'll come over tomorrow. You can. Uh, I'll put in your bidet for you. You can whip me up a malted milk. I will hang out, and we should get a little, maybe a little thing of ice cream. Ooh. You put it in there. You can eat it like a milkshake, or you can just put the take spoons of it. And... He did strawberry milk with cereal the other day. Yep, it was wow. high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we were out of regular milk, and I was like, I really need some of the cereal. We've been trying all the little what fancy kind of glass was bottles, it? like fruity pebbles or something. <laughs> yeah, what was it? It was like a uh, frosted mini weeds. Oh, it's the strawberry Trader Joe's milk? one. Yeah, Trader Joe's uh, frosted mini weeds thing. He has the whole grocery oh, it was, list. It was pretty good. It was way too sweet, though, but yeah. I ate it. But it was pretty sweet. Yeah. Wow. I know. I have to I have to be careful about it. I think it's funny you... that you had strawberry milk on We hand. get the little fancy glass bottled ones. We've been trying them all. There was a coffee flavor. I'm going to try the banana flavor. We, then that's the last one. Wow. Or no, there's an orange flavor, too. It's you good, get yeah. Trader Joe's, too? Randall's. Randall's. And then if you bring back the glass bottles, you get two bucks back. Wow. Yeah, a little milk. Oh, wow, it's deposit. like the milk 1950s with you guys at Randall's. You're taking oh. the milk bottles back. It's exciting. We didn't know what to do with the bottle at first, and it was so awkward. And well, the, the lady was the like lady. covering a shift, and she didn't know how to do it. Yeah, she's like, "I'm not even supposed to do with the bottles." And we're she's like, "I'm not even supposed to be here there. today." Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, what do we do with this uh, glass bottle? Oh, I'm not even supposed to be here today. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> We're holding this empty bottle in here. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> do something with it. Yeah. She's like, man, this is my first day on the shift all, all by myself. I hope nobody brings in an empty milk bottle or I'm fucked. And we I don't even know what button that is. Yeah. She couldn't figure it out. Did we have to take the bottle back with us? I was like, I'll take it back. And then I think she figured it out. Yeah, she figured it out. We were just going to take the bottle back. If I was here, I would just be like, I'd just get my wallet out and give you like, here, here's $5. <laughs> just yeah. set the bottle down, take the money, get the fuck out of here. I'll yeah. figure out what to do with it later. That's funny. <laughs> We've got a good show today. We do. We have uh, CJ Landry. Great. Um, should be very fun. He was on the... There's some show at the Armadillo Den. Have you ever heard of that place? It's like down south. It's by Uh-oh. the, that one food By truck. Moon Tower or something. It was uh-huh. fun. He was doing real well. I did the show there on Saturday night and it was a nightmare. And then <laughs> luckily it was midnight. a little better last night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nobody was laughing at it anything. <laughs> Seemed like a weird crowd. I had to pinpoint. There's a bunch of ladies up front just staring at me. They were having a horrible time, but one of them laughed at one of the Jewish jokes. <laughs> so I was able to pin, call her out for that. Someone then, laughed at his heroin joke, and he goes, what do you do heroin? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of fun. I was trying to make the best of it because it was disastrous. It was also like 1245. Oh, yeah, too it's way late. too late. That's way too late. People can't use their brains. You need your brain to yeah, enjoy yeah, comedy. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh! And then there, guess what happened? We're <laughs> fucking standing outside, outside smoking a little. I'm still doing the Lucy's, so they're very good. <laughs> smoking out there, and I'm not paying attention. I was drinking a soda water Red Bull, and Erica was drinking some blackberry smash. Mezcal, yeah, yeah, blackberry it was with dark mezcal blue. And I was standing in front of that fucking thing, and I take a big sip. Uh, and she's like, what are you doing? 
And then I immediately tasted it in my mouth and I just spit it back out in the cup. Oh, so I, And it was a brand new drink, so I had to drink spit up drink. <laughs> and it would have been fine drinking it, it but fine. it's like after, I know. I was he just, peed on was your like, hand. <laughs> you can drink something that's been in your <laughs> I, was, I know, it was fine. It's funny that it even gave me any kind of anxiety. Not really, but a little. I was like, fuck. You've it's been, been like nine months or something and now yeah. I fucking just stupidly, like it would have been, fu- I was telling Erica though, I would have finished that fucking drink <laughs> and gotten a couple more and- <laughs> Ripped an eight ball. Yeah, I got some back, blow. baby. I would have been back. William's back. <laughs> I would have been back. <laughs> yeah, whenever that happens. They show you show up to kill Tony in shorts and flip flops and your crocs. Like, uh oh. Yep. <laughs> He's not giving a fuck anymore. Yeah, that we'll race. see when that happens. What happened? Yeah. Who would scare me? Yeah, and I just spit it back out in the cup and then I spit a couple times. <laughs> I spit <laughs> twice on the ground. We're also going to talk to uh, a member of your family today. On the yeah, podcast. my sweet brother Vance. He's kind enough to uh, I'm talk on here. I'm excited for that. Your Me too. Me too. So much fun. I know. Well, my parents are coming here, I think, pretty soon. So we really? got to get them on here. Oh, without a doubt. I was just thinking about that right now. Yeah, I think yeah. within the next month or two, maybe. Okay, for sure. Well, to be definitely. Fun. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's great. Let's have a fun show. Cool. Cool. Sounds good. Guy, I was just sitting here looking kind of weird. I just looked up at myself. It just looks like I'm, <laughs> looks like something <laughs> weird's happening. <laughs> what <laughs> What's going on? Grant, why didn't you tell me I looked weird as shit sitting here? I think you look great. You look fine. <laughs> What's the problem? Okay, we're going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> The William Montgomery Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. There's a lot of weird stuff that used to go on at school that does not happen anymore. Shouldn't happen. Yeah. It's why we all need therapy. Right. You know? You know what I mean? Yeah. These upbringings. It's yeah. It's not just our parents' fault. It's also the school's fault. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. That's why we all need a good therapist. Yep. And if you need a good therapist, you know where you can go. Betterhelp.com. Betterhelp.com. Yeah. You can get a therapist online. It's hard to find a therapist where you are, especially if you travel a lot. Like, we travel a lot as comics. Yeah. Erica's back and forth to Los Angeles and Texas all the time. It's hard yeah. to keep a, uh, a regular appointment with a therapist. But if you go to betterhelp.com, your thera- if, you, if you have access to the internet, you have access to your therapist. And you can talk it out. You could probably have a good one. I remember my parents made me talk to a therapist at the Jewish Community Center in Memphis many years ago. And I talked to him one time and I stopped because he had a bunch of rings on his fingers. So I thought that was weird. I was like, why am I talking to this guy with a bunch of rings on his fingers? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I talked to the guy one time. It seems like if you're the kind of guy with a bunch of rings on your fingers, you should be the one in therapy, not the one handing out advice. I know. I was sitting there thinking, what am I doing talking to this guy? And I don't know if I need it like, or what was not. I could have. Like, I don't you know. Need a, you need a pinky ring, bro. Yeah, it was all <laughs> ring related. <laughs> uh, yeah, better help. Get out there and get you some therapy. It's cheaper than... Uh, than going to see a therapist as well. So visit betterhelp.com slash WMS. That's better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Special offer for William Montgomery Show listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash WMS. So you're uh, you're still uh, on the non-smoking thing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, it's been. Uh, is that not a very good start? You're yeah, no, 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 no. I was I just laughing know. because I totally. I'm still bad about, like, at the comedy store. I was totally smoking some outside. Yeah, but I was also. I started doing the thing where I uh, put this in before I go on stage, and I love it. So any uh, comedians out there? Just stick one of these things in your gum. 
Uh-huh. And then go on stage and you're really relaxed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a new thing. I didn't even realize. And no one can tell. It's not like you're it's not like you have a big dip in your lip. Like yeah, that. nobody could tell. And especially I have some facial hair right now, so that totally helps hide it. Because I think there is a, a something. I think maybe you could see it a little. I don't know. Yeah. Can you see it a little right no. now? No, no, not at all. Can either one of y'all? Nope. See? Grant, can you tell something's in my mouth? No, the microphone is perfectly placed. You didn't say that. So it's the microphone. It's not because you can't. <laughs> huh? Were you hearing what we were just talking about? Why didn't you go along with that? I'm sorry. I, I, I also... Were you, you paying move, attention? Move your head over to the side. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm good. You're good. You said that pretty quick. Do you really not see it? I, I can zoom in. I don't think I see it. Zoom in. Zoom, Hold on. Yeah, Let zoom all it. the way in. Let's get in there. Let's see. Don't see it at closer. this level. Closer. You guys want to get closer? <laughs> yeah, closer. Yeah, guess what side it's on. Um, Closer. I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, which side is it on? Can you tell? I'm not sure we want to go any closer then. <laughs> closer. No, closer. Let's Can get you in tell? there. Can you see which side it's on? I can't tell. Oh, boy. Oh, there it is. Um, no. Side. Look at that. I, th- I mean, you put it in on your <laughs> left side, so I'd guess it's on your left side. That's but a I weird can't see deal. It. Is that's that what your tongue the... really looks like when it's that's... coming out like that? <laughs> it's like an animal. It's like a lizard. Oh, man. So you oh, can't God. tell which side it's on. So that's another good thing about Lucy. You stick one of these eggs on before you go on stage or maybe before you give some business announcement, and nobody's going to be able to tell which side it's on. And you're super chill. And you're really chill. Yeah, it gives you a big head buzz and oof. Gives you that sweet, sweet nicotine, baby. Gives you the nicotine. No, not on my eyes. Get off my eyes, please. Your eyes are looking good, though. They are? They used to look (laughs) yellow. (laughs) Yeah, they look good. They used to look yellow. That's not a good sign. No, that's jaundice. And I was j- getting that jaundiced means, out. Yeah, that means you're have your pro- like liver problems and stuff, kidney problems. Is that what that means? Something like that. Oh God, it's not good. Well, now it's not as jaundiced it's because you're taking such good care of yourself with your and because you're not, cutting back on smoking. Cutting even back if, on smoking, even if you're not all the way there, you're still cutting. We're back getting quite there. A bit. You're cutting back quite a bit. We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Ergo, what do you agree? I'm not smoking as much. Not as much. That's great. Not as much sometimes. Barely. S- barely. That's Sometimes great. I do. Mostly he doesn't. Mostly I don't. I'll just sit on the couch, get my games going. Gosh, I'm playing a hard game right now. <laughs> it's, it looks so Fuck. stupid. I, play, I try to beat one fucking level so last stupid. night into today, three hours. <laughs> Finally fucking beat it. But I'll sit on the uh, couch, put one of these things on. Uh-huh. And I had, they didn't send us these for a while, so I was using another brand, I'm not going to say, for very briefly, just because I had to, I didn't have any of these. And uh, I got to say, Lucy packs a punch. Yeah, that's good. That was like a, a little side-by-side comparison you were able to do there, and now you know Lucy's the better product. It was. It totally seems more, like more's going on, so I don't know if ultimately that's a good or bad thing, but it seems like more's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it seems more intense. Yeah. And so again, I don't know if that's a good or I bad. I think it thing. is. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna do a Lucy packet, if you're gonna do a nicotine packet, you want it to have a a punch to it. Yeah. You can What's leave them the in point? your. You can leave them in your fucking mouth for a long time. You're leave a, them in you're for a, hours. You're a. You have a big business meeting. You got all your uh, prospective clients there. Yep. You've got a big proposal. You got the. Uh, you know, you've got your uh, charts and everything, and you've you're got booting a, up your PowerPoint. Yep. You got a PowerPoint. That's what I was looking for. And you're getting real nervous, and you're thinking, oh, man, I need to step outside. I'm not going to be able to do this today. I need to step outside and have a cigarette. Well, you can't do that because you're on the 42nd floor. Yep. There's no place to go. And it starts in three minutes. It starts in three minutes. There's no way you're getting down that many flights of of steps in an elevator that quickly. This way, you just pop in a Lucy. And you don't smell like smoke. I mean, think about it. If you were smoking and you go back up to the... Grant, take that off. That's stupid. <laughs> Gosh, thank you. We said, we said the rainbow for the Lucy ad. This guy. 
We got to get Mike back in here. Yeah, where's Mike? Grant, I'm kidding. Wow. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah. I missed you. I have we fe- all missed, we you. missed you. I do have feelings here. Yeah, we all missed you. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> use the promo code lucy.co yeah and use no, wait no, wait i said no. that wrong. <laughs> whoa don't use the promo code lucy.co because that's gonna Go. mess everything up <laughs> we'll lose the whole account we'll lose the whole fucking account this is our biggest account right now we can't lose them <laughs> this is like what would happen if you were doing this present powerpoint presentation with all your clients and you didn't have a lucy lucy code dot yep Lucyco.wms.co. No, Lucyco.wms. You go to Lucy.co. <laughs> go to Lucy.co and then WMS. Use the promo code WMS. You have to. Use the promo code WMS. Use the promo code Use WMS. Use the promo code WMS. Use the promo code WMS. Use the promo code WMS. 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 God, why did you sound like that? It was adorable. It actually was adorable. It's pretty good. Let's bring our guest in here. We'll come back and talk to him. WMS. Yeah. Who's our guest again? CJ Landry will be in here. When we return, Woo. <laughs> I hear him back there. I heard his voice. Yeah, back he's there. already back there. He left. Uh oh, he left. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> left. <laughs> Sound like Elvis, kind of. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Wow. Hey, uh, is he here? Yeah, ain't nothing but is Elvis here? I'm pretty sure this is his girlfriend on my shirt right here. Yeah, who is that? That's I noticed the, you had it. That's, that's my grandmother, Betty actually. Betty Page. Betty Page. Oh. <laughs> is that really your grandmother? No. That'd be weird wearing a shirt with your grandmother <laughs> oh, scantily yeah. clad. Especially since I already jerked off to it. That'd be really weird. Yikes, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is we this... have kids watching. Uh, we do? <laughs> yeah. Kids watch you? <laughs> I don't know what that means. So we have CJ <laughs> Landry as our guest today. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm glad we got to hang out last night a little bit. Yeah, I think you need you need to be careful about people offering you the shots. You were. I know. I was doing a lot of shots. That was too much. You had to eat a I got dog fucked up. To sober up. I got fucked up last night. Thank but you that, did but it, really good. We saw your set. It was very good. Thank you. I you feel did like you do very good. Thank you. I feel like whenever people buy me shots, it's so like I don't I don't know how to say no yet. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm working on it for sure because it's not good for me to keep just going. Did you end up driving last night? <sighs> I sobered up and I talked to. A comic so you friend. ended up driving <laughs> last <laughs> <I> night. Sure <laughs> did. <laughs> When you were wasted. Hey, listen, listen, I learned from the best. My dad was a fucking excellent driver. Uh, he did go through. Uh, they have, what, while drinking? Yeah. So they have drive through daiquiri stores in Louisiana. That's where I'm from. And, and they, uh, I mean, that's like literally what people do. They order the the daiquiri. And it could be like, they have this one called, uh, it's called like uh, 190. And it has like 190 proof alcohol in it. And they hand Wild it through. turkey. They hand it to you through a drive through window, which is <laughs> insane <laughs> just, wow but you still have to wear everybody still has to wear masks everywhere right <laughs> that's kind of a funny thing right? like hang on let me take my mask off to drink this fucking 90 proof what so we have to ask at the beginning what'd you eat for breakfast anything or just the kfc i saw you brought in yeah um i did actually have breakfast i usually go uh i usually go eggs you like eggs you're an egg guy you mean wait how do you do your eggs it depends, dude. It depends on how like busy bust I am that day. If I'm like, oh, I'm gonna busy be... bust. I don't know. Is that a word? <laughs> okay. I, I usually go scramble. Do you go scramble? Yeah, I like I like sunny side up. Oh yeah. yeah. Or over easy. God, you're such an outdoorsman. You give me an outdoorsman vibe. Pretty much, yeah. When I tell people I like them sunny side up, is that does that give me a little street cred? Do you think in the outdoor community? <laughs> a bit. I wonder if yeah, hiker people. Ooh. <laughs> We need to figure that out. It's mostly the beard. You just look like a camper, bro. You look like you can do a mean camp. Really? Yeah, like you could build a hell of a fire. I could see you pitching a fucking awesome tent that's sturdy. 
he and survive to, a hurricane. He used to work at an outdoor store. He used to work at there an it outdoor is. store. I God, get, I knew that. Some guy, dr- <laughs> some guy left eight hundred dollars uh, cash on the floor one day, and I fucking found the guy, picked it up, and then he, when I gave it to him, and I was, I was fully expecting a, him to give me a hundred dollar bill, and he gave me nothing. <laughs> what? And it's like, man, I should have just fucking taken your money. <laughs> Dumbass. I didn't fucking know. Yeah, I just gave it back, fully expecting some sort of reward in it. At least right. happened. At least now, 20. Do you do, do you do nice things and expecting stuff in return? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to you? I don't know. They say you're not supposed to do that, but I guess, I mean, I do. I don't know. I'm kind of kidding. I don't know if. Yeah. Do you, Brett? Oh, no, of course. I just give the money back. I wouldn't even think about getting a reward. Yeah, this guy's got a Tesla shirt. Do you think he's worried about money? Yeah, that exactly. Right. I know. <laughs> well, I gave it back and uh, didn't get anything in return. God, he should have at least gave you a bees real quick or something. We what were is at that? we were beach. at the we were at the Taco Bell last <laughs> night. Listen to this. Huh, we were at the Taco happened? Bell last night, drive through, and we pay for our food. And then the girl at the drive thru goes, Do you want to pay for the people behind you too? What? Oh, no. And we're like, That's like what no. happened to us at the In and Out. Yeah. Did the person in front of so you what pay happened? for yours? No. So that's what we were like, Well, what, why are you asking us that? So no that's one even paid weird. for ours. Wow. You just want me to pay for theirs? That's weird. So that that's was weird. weird. That's crazy. One time my aunt went through a drive thru <laughs> and uh, me and her were in the car. She was chain smoking cigarettes through a drive thru line. And then they, I guess she passed the first window. You know, sometimes the first window's up and, and running. Totally. She these went, days, it's not always the case. No. And so she went just straight to the second uh, window. They handed her her food without paying, and she just drove off and like laughing, cackling in her car. She's like, would you have <laughs> paid for it? Uh, I would have done it. I, it was Taco Bell too. That's funny. Um, I, I would have, I would have kind of gone back maybe and been like, it, it, or or like whenever they hand me the bag, be like, whoa, I'm not like I didn't pay, but. <laughs> I say that. Well, that's I don't know. sweet of you. That happened to us at a McDonald's one time, and I fucking happily, it was some sausage egg cheese biscuits, I think. I was yeah. like, fuck them. You just peeled out. <laughs> <laughs> and then yep. is that the day your, dar- your car door swung and hit the lady's car? No, my car door <laughs> swung open one time, leaving that McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that day, okay. but yeah, I was totally, I was happy about it. Mm-hmm. Camping, would you camp a lot in... Louisiana. Yeah, I, my, my, uh, that's uh, honestly like one of the few things me and my dad would do together was uh, camping. That and NFL. He'd watch NFL. Is he still with us? A lot of football. Yeah, he's still with us. Okay, you said you were <laughs> talking like in the past. Like he's tennis. dead. No, no, no. Well, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's just dead to CJ. Yeah, he's like a. Yeah, he kind of wasn't the best. Uh, he he <laughs> he would. Uh, so they really had those drive through daiquiri stores all the time. He'd always yeah. be at them. I'd be like on the bus home from school, and I'd see his like truck in the parking lot. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you think? Damn, this is going to be a long night. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then my buddy. Spaghettios again. Yeah, my buddies would come up to me in uh, like high school, like later on. They'd be like, oh, dude, I fucking saw your dad at the fucking daiquiri store last <laughs> night. And I was like, yeah, he's always there, dude, actually. He could go there tonight. He's going to be there. So. Is he um, still doing that? Do you think? Yeah, okay. he has. He, I mean, now that he's like got a new girlfriend, maybe not. But is it daiquiris exclusively? Because that's a very niche. It's not like, niche sugary there. thing, dude. You know what I mean? Niche. Like, yeah, yeah. That's just tons of sugar in tons of things. sugar. Yeah, it's not really niche there. But they have like pool. They have like uh, you play billiards there. Yeah, it's in a drive-through. No, it's like so they have a little bar inside. <laughs> so that's where he would be. He'd be hanging out with his at the bar. He'd like be so friends with all the bartenders one time. He sent me and my sister a picture of him with two like bartenders, like like women, young women. And it was like, I love my granddaughters. And we're just like, what the what? fuck? What? <laughs> love my, my granddaughters. My sister was like mortified, dude. This is insane. <laughs> so how's he doing now? Is he doing fine? Do y'all talk? We talk some, dude, but he got like really into like uh uh, like arts and crafts, <laughs> really? Yeah, like what really. Do you mean? That is not what Dude. I thought you were gonna say. I yeah, mean, neither did I. I this over. story ever would go like if you picked a list of things. <laughs> yeah. CJ was gonna say after my dad hanged well, out at the daiquiri it's store. It's funny because he's really yeah. not a creative guy. You know, like he, what kind of arts and crafts is he doing? <laughs> so he always was a bad gift giver. So like yeah. one a uh, couple years back, he uh, he like. 
it was Christmas. We're all exchanging gifts. And he like breaks, we all exchanged and then like we're waiting for my dad's like gift. And so he breaks out this like cardboard box and starts throwing us fireball whiskey shirts. And he was like, yeah, they were, oh my gosh. He was like, yeah, they were handing them out at the bar. I'm like, oh, fuck. How thoughtful, dude. Thank you so much. That's uh, funny. Yeah, it's this terrible, this like the worst, like doesn't think, you know, before he does something. And so, um, like he's being, he's not being mean, you know, but he just, it's like, for sure, dude. Wow. You know what I mean? Just no awareness. How's his new girlfriend? Uh, she's fine. She's like tatted up. She's like kind of younger than him. And so I feel like she's kind of breaking him down to like a younger phase of himself, which I don't know if that's what he needs, but he bought a motorcycle. That's all I know. He's taking the motorcycle Jake. through the daiquiri drive through line? <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a terrible idea. With her on the back. I used to love seeing the guys driving the motorcycles with the shirt and on the back it would say if you can read this my bitch fell off <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i need that I shirt thought that was a silly shirt <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> holy fuck yeah no so he got into like these dumb acrylic paintings that literally anyone can do it's like one of those things that like you find on youtube and you just put like paint on like the edge and then like smear it yeah 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 and so, like, all of them looked the same. Like, they were just different <laughs> colors. And he, like, he literally turned the dining room in his house into a fucking studio, for, studio. These, for these paintings in particular. <laughs> he wasn't, like, trying to get better at painting. He was just making these dumb, everyone can do it, acrylic paintings. Oh, my gosh. It's the worst. And so, uh, so we went home for Christmas that year. And uh, he's like, I made y'all something. Uh-oh. And we're like. <laughs> oh yeah. man! He walks in. He's like, "I got your paintings." <laughs> and we're like, oh, fuck. And at the time, I was homeless. I'm like, "Where am I supposed to hang them? Uh, in my fucking yeah. car?" Did yeah, you keep was, the paintings? Do you still have them? No, I left them there. I totally didn't take them because I was like, I can't bring them with me. Oh I was my gosh. literally living it like I was like crashing with buddies and like living in and out of my car at that moment. So How like, long did was, you do that? Uh, for about six months, uh, a part of it was in L.A. I drove out here uh, and kind of did the same thing in Dallas for a minute. Cool. So you it was have a all place like, to live now other than your vehicle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all after, like, the pandemic, just, like, losing my job, trying to Uber, and then, like, my car broke down. I had to buy another shitty car, and it was a whole yeah. thing. Was it a hard drive from L.A. to here? Oh, dude. I, well, so I bought the car from another comic for $300. That's a good deal. <laughs> and, and then I was just like... Yeah, is it, though? It was really just because <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to pay for a rental just to get to Louisiana. So I was just like the whole time, like, please, God, make it this fucking 24-hour From L.A. Drive. to Louisiana? Yeah, I went home for a minute. Damn, what'd you do with the car? Uh, I sold it to a junkyard pretty much two weeks after I was in Louisiana. How much did you sell it to him for? 200 bucks. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So this is only a net loss of 100. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. And some dignity, you know, a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of loss of the dick. <laughs> well, that's, how have you been liking it in Austin? Uh, it's been all right. It's, it's been taking a minute for me to kind of get uh, accepted, I feel. Why do you think that? Um, I don't know. Or why do you think that? I don't know. Is that true? Or do you, are you just thinking that or what? <laughs> and hold on, what are you popping open? Because you were taking the shots last night, driving drunk. Now you're drinking. Now how'd you get here? <laughs> the Michelob, it's fine. <laughs> how'd you get here? <laughs> Not an Uber, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car do you have now? Uh, this is actually kind of awkward. I uh, I drive a, a Hyundai Elantra, which I know you like to flip over. You fuck. <laughs> uh, do you? Where'd you get it? Uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. No, I'm <laughs> I'm just doing all your bits. Um, no, <laughs> I got it in Texas, bro. Was it a good deal? It was a good deal. Uh, they're a surprisingly light car. They are surprisingly <laughs> light, so I didn't know. I actually like how a Hyundai Elantra looks. I yeah. think that's a pretty good looking car. It's a good, it's a good car. Um, what color is it? Uh, it's like reddish. Like almost like a burgundy looking. Like a maroon. Yeah, maroon. What's the difference between burgundy and maroon? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm not a color expert. I might have to ask my dad since he's a fucking yeah, artist. Yeah, ask your dad. Over there. Probably has well, three. the maroon pours a lot better. <laughs> As he's pouring the paint. <laughs> Wait, so is he still making the painting? Oh, dude, totally still making them. He has the same it, ones. His house is like a fucking Airbnb now because he has like two or three friends that are like 
One of them's a truck driver. He sleeps on the couch and he pays rent. And then one's like a random lady who lives upstairs. And uh, I just met her last time I went home. At his home? Yeah. And I didn't know who this lady was. Like, she's just some... Is she nice? He has a tenant. Yeah, like she, he has a couple tenants, and uh, one of them is a lady, and she's like younger, kind of my age, which was weird. I was like, "This is like, Dad, you're 55, dude. Like, this is a weird move." Is she from the bar? Uh, I don't know. I, I, she's like a friend of a friend. Never really went into details. She lives upstairs, and uh, what was just weird is I noticed she kind of was like kind of drug druggy kind of looking. She kind of like yeah. sores on her face, like weird, yeah. just kind of bad off looking, and like every time i saw her she would say good morning to me like good morning and then like i would say good morning back and then be like a fucking idiot look at my phone i'm like it's fucking 3 p.m what the fuck you know that's weird and, she, and then like the second time she did it she said good morning it was like 11 at night and i was like you just like saying good morning don't you she's like i do i'm like okay that's, that's weird funny. fucking crackhead wait where did you sleep when did you sleep at your dad's house when the two yeah he had, there? he had air mattress and stuff but like yeah all the beds were taken up by like two of his friends weird yeah it was weird i think we need to start getting family members of comedians on yeah. to this podcast yeah, it'd be fun talking to your dad. CJ's dad. Oh, he'd be, be a- down. And his roommates. <laughs> he'd be down. And the roommates. He'll just make a fucking road trip here on that bike. He'll bring some well, paintings, he could do a He <laughs> could do a, a live Zoom uh, paint sesh for us. <laughs> we could see the creativity in action. Get him on Twitch. That oh would be great. Oh, my God. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> if people started paying him to do that shit. If he literally became an artist, <laughs> I'd be so fucking pissed. Before me, I'd be like, "Yeah, right, what right." The fuck, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. We were talking about. I rode with some lady from the airport uh, to West Hollywood on Friday, and we got to be buddies. And her daughter does something on TikTok where she does the lip syncing thing to comedians like bits. Isn't that the weirdest sounding thing? <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. I I, I I don't understand the whole like voiceover lip. lip. In the dancing and all this shit. What is that? Over what it. are kids doing these days? I think everyone <laughs> is a little autistic now. I think I'm in that boat. And uh, I think it's it's become like really more severe with other like smaller kids. So they're just like, I just want to see dancing. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. I just want to see dancing and people like talking but not talking. That's what I want to look at. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like robots. It's totally weird. It's terrible. Wait, so what? You're happen- not on TikTok. I thought you were on TikTok. I post. I am on, on TikTok, TikTok, but it's been a while. I got a hundred thousand views when I was dancing weird in the beer. <laughs> I was dancing in the uh, yeah. beer aisle. <laughs> and uh, people were making fun of his Birkenstocks because people's comments on TikTok, they're so they're funny. They're brutal, they're too. They're so funny. They will break you down. Yup. That's why I got off. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of eight-year-olds going, you uh, gay. It's like, ah, yeah. ah, ah. There's only so much of that you can read. I, I know. get off of that. I know. It's a nightmare. Wait, so how'd it go? We were on the same show last night, mm. <laughs> and I saw you talking to some young lady for a while after the show. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she actually has come to my show before. Uh, show uh oh, yeah, at, at the Sunset Room, and I kind of bombed, and so uh, but she just thought it was like funny. It was just like a weird room that night. You know, it's one of those. Yeah, shows. that place. I like Adam a whole bunch. Me too. Sidekick. It's always fun. I did. But fun. yeah, that crowd. I don't know what the it's the fun. Crowd is. Some nights are really fun. Some nights are meh. But uh, this was like a meh because it was just like a lot of talking up front. Yeah, uh, yeah. people loud and drunk, and I was like the you know eleventh comic, so it was just kind of like a weird thing. But uh, she hit me up after, and then like yesterday, I didn't even see her till after the show. She well, like, hopefully can't. she saw you yesterday. You did, and look at uh, look at Sweet Grand putting the hearts up for this story. I hope Romantic. there's maybe a, yeah, it's getting a little romantic. I think we're in love. I it, are you in love? <laughs> a little bit. I think I like I like her a lot. You Have know, y'all kissed? No. Jesus. It was weird. She gave me a pat, like a hug, and then a pat on the back. A couple pats. Nah, I don't like the pat. You like the pat on the back of the hug? That's fine. That just seems What'd you like... think about it when she patted your back? It's almost like uh Like, good job, my, you're yeah. my, like my brother. You're cute. Or who knows? Who knows what she's doing? What do you think, Erica? You're a girl. Is that okay if you pat somebody's back when you hug them? Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. 
Yeah, it just seems too friendly for me. I don't know. It's friendly, well, maybe that's nice. a good thing. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know. William, didn't, what do I know? I didn't. I had to kiss <laughs> William, and it took ten dates. Wow. Uh, just to get through the facial hair, huh? <laughs> just like <laughs> gotta find the lips here. And he swears he did it, but it was ten dates for the first kiss. Now he's peeing on your hand in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> God, I tried to earlier, and then she fucking sprays me with bleach. It spray. wasn't bleach. It was some cheap all-purpose. It was target. Bleach. You didn't. My smell. skin started fucking burning <laughs> when you sprayed me. Luckily, I was in the shower yeah, because it's all-purpose spray. <laughs> Yeah, all purpose spray with bleach. You didn't smell bleach. You're so crazy. I smelled bleach. My skin was burning. He's so funny. It's good. I was in the fucking. Yeah, I said shower. wash it off. That's good. Y'all are so comfortable with each other, though, like that. I guess. I don't know. I don't yeah. like getting sprayed with bleach, so I don't. It wasn't. Well, cool. she probably just like getting her hand peed on. Well, it was a sweet thing I was doing. He was like, it was a prank. Sweet. No, he kept saying it was a prank, and I said, so was that. That was a yeah, prank. Yeah, it was a prank. And then I peed on her loofah and the <laughs> handles, and then she got pissed off when she saw I was TT. Because I had to get the TT going before I called her hand, because it takes me a little while to He's start. A shy. Yeah, I can get shy. Publicly, it takes you a while? Do you uh, do you TT in public? I uh, do. Do you stand to pee or sit down? <laughs> it's strange you ask me. I sit down some. Yeah, me too. Uh, so I think Do you really? Yeah, no, for real. I think that they should get rid of. Uh, there's only there's only uh, one you reason. You don't sit down to pee. I don't believe you. I do. I some and I stand the wipe. That's for real. <laughs> Aren't your butt cheeks clenched what? when you stand up? No, I. You kinda... need to open those things up. <laughs> Kind of bend over a little bit. It gives me more leverage, I think. I used to. When I was a little boy, I remember I stood up. Yeah, that's why I don't like whenever stalls have like too big of cracks in the door. <laughs> because people can see <laughs> you standing <laughs> up, wiping. A couple times, dude, <laughs> got my cock in their eye, and I didn't like oh, it. Did your dad ever teach you to wipe? No, he was at the daiquiri yeah. drive-thru all day. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I had to teach myself. Yeah, Self-taught. Yeah. Yeah. Self-taught wiper. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, uh, the, <laughs> the orange. What is that thing, Grant? I think it's a peach. A peach. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, uh, like the emoji. Wait, so what happened with the girl? <laughs> oh, yeah. He got the pat on the back. So, yeah, the pat on the back, we, you know, it, was, it seemed like it wasn't, it was cool, but it was like, we still text now. It seems like it's fine. It's just taking Did a while. Did y'all text today? We have. What do you say? She sent me pictures of her dogs, and I was like, oh, they're so cute. And then I didn't know like, what you were about uh-huh. to say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't know what <laughs> you were. A picture of her peach. <laughs> no, um. No, but uh, I, I don't know, man. Like girls after a show, sometimes it's it's a very weird uh, uh, uh thing because I don't I don't I don't want to be, especially if like I'm not really into them. I don't want to be mean or rude. Are you into this girl? Yeah, and cool. uh, but like cool. there's been okay. moments where I kind of got roped into something. Like in Arizona, I recently went to Arizona, and uh, there was this lady that DM'd me uh, after my set, and she was like, "Oh, like do you want a drink after?" I said, "Sure." I couldn't even see a picture of her on the thing, yeah. so I just went to the bar next door. I was connected to the club and. She walked up and she was like a, like a middle aged, mom looking lady, and uh, she was uh-uh. like a very tall black woman, uh, and uh, and it was hot. Oh my god! At, at first, I was like, "Wow, this lady's oh, gorgeous, right?" Uh uh-uh. so she, she buys me, she buys me a drink. Yeah, and we start talking about her kids, <laughs> and uh, she, <laughs> it was really <laughs> romantic, dude, and she was. Took me into her minivan. We had to move the car seats. Started making out in the back. This is all real. This is all real. How old are her kids? <clears throat> Your age? No, they were like no, no, no. They were like probably the oldest was probably twelve, and then they had like a younger. She had three, so younger she married? one married. Like four. She was married at the time. She's uh, but they were like they were <laughs> at the time of y'all making out. <laughs> yeah, she, but they were like ah. they were like separated or whatever, you know. Well, that's what she says to people, <laughs> right? No, well, I'm kidding. I don't know. I kind of believe it, but I, so she. Uh, we got to get him on the next Bachelorette. There's two of them. Okay, I'm 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 down. And so she uh, yeah. she she uh, she was talking a bunch about vibrators, and she said that she wanted to come to the show the next day, right? Yeah. And so I was like, okay, yeah, that's awesome. Like she was just like going really in on like wanting to come to the next show and whatnot, and she was obviously horny, you know. And so uh, she comes to this next show the next day. And you uh, yeah, I was like, oh, like I'm so glad someone else is coming like to the show. And uh, so I go, I say hi to her at the front door, and uh, she hands me a, a remote. 
and yeah. she's like, I got a, oh, I know I got a vibrator going. in me right now. I want you to vibrate me while you're on stage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so what? I, I got the remote in my back pocket. Every time I hit a punchline, I'm just like, Zzz, 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 Are you God. serious? I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> That's like a unreal. funny story. <laughs> yeah, it's almost unreal. <laughs> it, it's 100% <laughs> real. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got comics that back it up because they just couldn't believe it either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got pictures of the remote I could show you. And uh, she was just <laughs> wild. And uh, I mean, I hit my closer. I zapped her about four or five times. <laughs> and she just was, I was I was wanting to address it on stage so bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been so awkward. But did y'all meet up after the show? Yeah. And uh, she, like, yeah, I went over to her house. She was like a very, she was a corporate gal. Nice house, big house. Really? At the time, I was homeless. I'm like, why am I here? So you could have killed her. <laughs> you could have probably killed her and gotten away with it. Started her. living in her house. <laughs> I'd be like, "Hi, I'm Lashonda." Like on the phone. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my gosh! So what happened at the house? <laughs> well, she was. Did you it, sex? Yeah, it was great. Oh yeah, we had God. sex. That's crazy. Her her husband didn't work out. She sounds. I fun. don't know. It was nuts. I mean, she had she had pictures of him. He looked like Michael B. Jordan, literally like an attractive black guy. Made no sense while I was there. Love it. It was so weird, dude. But were she, you sad to leave the next day? Uh, a little bit, yeah. But it was it was honestly Did she cook awkward. For you? Uh, no, we we got takeout the next day, so it was Mexican <laughs> food, pretty good. Enchiladas. Well, that's why he left her. She doesn't cook. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny with the vibrator and the oh, fucking crazy. thing. Would you let me zap you? Huh? <laughs> would you let me zap you? <laughs> well, I don't know why you would have asked that question. That's. <laughs> and what does the girl do? Put the thing inside of her thing down there or just on the outside of the panties? Like, how does that work? It was, yeah, I don't know. I think it was in her or something. She actually downloaded the app on my phone so I could do it from here. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Swear to Christ. <laughs> Swear to Christ. Are you guys Christ. still friends? <laughs> Yeah, we're still friends. Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me just solemnly swear. Give me a Bible, dude. I'll swear on that bitch right now. That shit happened. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's great. God. That's so fun. Well, that's sweet. You've been texting the new girl. I know. Are you going to meet up with her like today? Uh, probably not. Soon? I, have, I, have, I would like to go to the Keltoni. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't been in like a long time. Yeah, it seems like you have it. Do you sign up for it? No. Would you ever? Or you just go and watch? I have. It's just like, I don't know what I'd get out of it really anymore. I, I'm not trying to be a regular. I, I'll let the uh, professionals do that. <laughs> well, I would say that. You've been on before, haven't you? Yeah, and I got like Secret Show and whatever, but That's it's good. it's like, I don't know like what, I don't know what else, you know, to pursue yeah. out of it really. I hear you. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I was thinking when I and then I stopped signing up for six months and I started going again and got on it. And now my dumb ass is still doing it <laughs> three years it later, three out. and a half years yeah. later. But it's been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's been great. I don't think I'd be good at that. I don't think I'd like. I don't know. Me and Tony don't really like have a. I don't know. It's hard for me to be funny around Tony. I think. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's either you got to be roasty or absolutely insane to him, and then he'll laugh. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm not really either of those. I don't do, well, I might be a little of both, actually, now I think about it, but I don't know. Not good enough, I guess. I've never made him laugh, which kind of has, has eaten away at me, but. Oh, really? That's what it is. What do you mean? The times you've been up there for a minute or something? Yeah. You're looking over and he's not laughing? Yeah, and that's like all I care about, really. I'm like, you know, everyone here is laughing. You're not laughing, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. whatever. But you, you had well, I don't. Your fucking first, because uh, I was in Cal, I was in Cali whenever you first started going up, and you were just, uh, you were a force, dude. It's different, you know. Well, it was fun. I had the neck brace. That's when I still had the neck brace. <laughs> so funny. I had the power of the neck brace. Yeah, yeah, I've been wearing that the last six months in Denver. I think everybody was thinking I was nuts or something. <laughs> Just every time I go on stage, I was wearing the neck brace. <laughs> it was fun. It felt like it gave me some power. Yeah, some old guy. What was his name? John Brown, I think. He, used, yeah. he was in jail. And no, another John Brown. Oh, really? Not, not John L. Brown. Okay. Uh, Both have been to jail, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like John L. Brown. We did acid one time. I went to an open mic, which was fun. Yeah. But... uh. 
Yeah, it was some old guy who rode around in a wheelchair, and I think he legitimately needed a neck brace, but I asked him to borrow it one day, and I never gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, feel bad about it. He's been going around with his head laying on his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Zipping around on his thing. <laughs> All his friends call him broke neck now. <laughs> Not broke neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt bad about that, but who knows? Hard to say. Well, I hope you uh, talk to that girl. That's ex- Ooh. <laughs> that's exciting yeah i'm excited for it it's cool i need like you know it's good like you found a normal lady it's not good to <laughs> date comics is what i mean you know all oh, right that's what you hear what are your thoughts on that i would agree with that and why is that do you think uh it's just difficult because first of all if you're both comics then you're both going to be on the road so you're going to be on the road together all the time you're just going to both go separate ways on the road Oh, that's gonna yeah, be hard. Like that. That's gonna be hard to work. And out. It, and it depends on like what level. If you're like early on, like me, it's it's like pretty. Now you're competing for the same shit, and you're dating yeah. the person that it's like I don't know. It could get messy. Yeah, I that think could get weird. We've seen a couple. It got. Yeah, we've seen that happen firsthand. It seemed messy. One of our guests on here. Uh oh. Him and his on and off. I think he's Yikes. Like, does better than her and it's like a constant oh i think i know what we're talking about she now wants to be on Uh-oh. his level and she's down a drama total drama alert drama alert drama alert it's not his fault women aren't funny <laughs> yeah it's not his fault it's not at all you agree with that statement don't you grant no no yeah <laughs> grant left are you still here grant I, i'm here i i disagree is it tornado coming Wait, Maybe. so you disagree? <laughs> Haven't you been looking at the weather? So, I've been checking behind us, yes. You disagree, so you think it is his fault that women aren't funny? <laughs> oh, shit. See? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah. Bitch. I've been set up. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to look good. That soundbite ain't going to look good. Nope. <laughs> Damn, we got your ass on this one, Grant. <laughs> Thanks so much for putting the air on in here. It actually feels that all right feels in here. You guys now. feeling good now? God, yeah. it's yep. hot as hell in here. Yeah, thank thank God, Grant. <laughs> thank God, Grant. I'm, I'm here for y'all. I know. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really did miss you. <laughs> and there was oh. stuff on your face when you walked away, and I got the stuff off your face. You did. You picked stuff off of my face. Um, that was kind of sweet, wasn't it? I thought so. You were well, you were very soft, very gentle-handed. Like a caring <laughs> mother gorilla. I know. Yeah. A little caring red gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> cool well, cj they, hold on what were you gonna say do you like the zoo uh i've been before oh yeah have you hell yeah i have is that your knee that is my knee isn't it like bulgy huh it's not good my what do you mean not good it's it's, it's bony it's so bony my grandma if i ever <laughs> whenever i was a kid i'd sit on my grandma's lap and she'd go your bony ass. Oh, really? Because it would hurt her so bad that I would be sitting on her with my bony ass. Was that your dad's mom? Yeah, it was my dad's mom. Is that mom. the same grandma that's on your shirt that you're jacking off to? <laughs> yeah, it's that same lady. You got back at her. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, CJ, thanks so much for being a guest on the show today. Dude, thank you for having me, man. I've always loved watching you on stage, and uh, I'm glad that you're uh, you're doing your own thing now. You're killing you're it. sweet. Yeah, it's it's been funnier. Well, you did great last night on that show. That was fun to watch. And you met that girl. You're texting. I, you, I can't believe up. the vibrator thing. Yeah, wild. I know, crazy. And now I'm on. He was a freak. <laughs> yeah, freaky dicky. Oh, while he I'm, was a freak. While I was vibrating, I'm like, this is a mother. This Did is. Did you crazy. hear her out in the audience? Was she making noises? Or oh, anything? the closer. Whenever she like clapped, because I think she was clapping, woo! and they were going woo, and then I went the final zap, and they're like, oh, <laughs> you know, like, oh my what? god, what, like that, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Holy shit. Wow, too. Yeah, front row. Nuts. CJ, where can we find you? Yeah, I'm on uh, at the CJ Landry on Instagram, everything, really. And uh, I have a podcast called Can't Stand You with my boy Jackson Fagundas. It's very fun. New episodes every week. You just talk about your dad every episode? Oh, yeah. Me, <laughs> it's just me crying, <laughs> crying in the mic. Where's my dad? <laughs> dad? Well, you know where he is. Why don't you listen? Yeah, yeah I do know where he is. <laughs> I just don't know which store. He's at well, one he's of. got his tenants, too. He needs to be careful. We watch a whole bunch of Judge Millie on the people's court. Oh, and yeah. a lot of those are disagreements between landlords and tenants. He oh, needs yeah. to be careful. To he gonna, he, he's going to end up in that one day in the, with the lady that just sure. says good morning all the time. We just watched one where a 
husband and wife were renting out an air mattress in their bedroom to a young girl. Oh my yeah, those people God. Are freaky. Yeah, they were trying to get a threesome in there. So it's real freaky on a fucking air mattress that wouldn't work on those things. <laughs> I used to sleep on one and every single morning it would just it would have deflated. So it's just on the hardwood floor. <laughs> yeah. Every for months. You wake up and it's like those spacewalks as a kid whenever it's deflated and unplugged <laughs> and you're like, can't get out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Why did y'all deflate this on me? All right, CJ, very nice to see you. Dude, thanks for having me, bro. See you around. I'm dizzy as shit. Where are you? Is that where you work? In a basement somewhere? I thought you were like in an office or something. Where are you? No, I came home. I told you I'm living in my in-law's attic. This is my room you're seeing. Oh, is that literally where? (laughs) This is literally where I've been living for a year. Holy shit. Does it get hot up there? Yeah. Does it get cold? (laughs) Yeah. Is it ever a good temperature? It's tough to condition the air of an attic. Yeah, it seems like it get either real hot or cold. What was that big sign beside you? Easter bunny. That's an Easter decoration. What, are y'all about to put it out? No, it's, it's an attic. It's where it stays. <laughs> <laughs> William, why don't you introduce your uh, your guest? Yeah, so this is Vance phone. Montgomery, my the middle brother of the Montgomery boys. How are you? You look good. Doing well. Cool. Your hair looks good. It's slicked back. I've been trying to do it with mine, but I'm just going more bald. Look at Vance. He got a full head of hair, and I'm going bald. And Look at that head of hair. That is a nice head of hair. That is impressive stuff. Got a haircut on Saturday. Brand new cut. That Where do you good. go? Uh, I'm not going to say it on this, or <laughs> they'll have to, I guess, give you some money, right? Is it? How does it work? Yeah, that's how that works. Grant, Look at Grant. He put your name up there. Cool. <laughs> I know Grant's pretty nice. He had it hot as shit in here when we started. Now it's feeling a little better in here. Well, good. What uh this podcast has been going a long time. Good to see you again, David. <laughs> <Close enough. laughs> good to see you, Vance. <laughs> I talked to y'all like five years ago. Mm-hmm. You did, I remember. Yep. Vance, I thought we would uh We were just talking about it on the car ride here, just maybe about a story growing up. Remember that time uh, you were walking up the steps? We were both back from Christmas. You were walking up the steps with a gallon of milk, and I came and put my hand in your butt. (laughs) And then I ran back down the steps, and you hurled the the gallon of milk, and it broke my kneecap. Of course I do. (laughs) Why did you throw the fucking milk? Uh. It was just a reaction, and it landed right under your feet. It was the perfect throw. <laughs> yeah, it landed was. right under your feet, exploded under your under your step, and you slid and busted your kneecap. Yeah, I remember, and I remember just lying in a pool of milk, yelling at you to get <laughs> towels. <laughs> that was horrible. My knee hurt so bad. How old were you? How old were we? I was, I was twenty. What, 19 or 20 or something? You were like a senior in college. Yeah, so it was maybe, what, 26? Yeah, 26 or 27. (laughs) Ah, that was so funny. And then we were talking. Remember that time we were playing with the flashlights? And uh, I wouldn't give you the yellow flashlight. Then you got my head on the underneath the house. And then my head was bleeding, and Wesley, our neighbor, ran back to his house because he was real scared. Yeah, your face was covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, my face <laughs> was covered in blood. It scared me a little bit. It's like a horror movie. It was. Did it Dr. Asgar Kalani help? Yeah, he butterfly stitched you, and all was well. I wonder how they're doing, the Kalanis. Uh, I'm sure they're getting old now. I know. I wonder if they're still with us. I don't know. I don't Vance, know. Are you, where, where do you live? Are you back in Tennessee? Yes. I'm in Memphis. Yeah? Right on. Yeah. How is it? Is it going to get stormy there today? It's going to storm here soon. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a, it's like 75 and sunny right now. Oh, it is? That's nice. But it was snowing there the other night. I know. 
like four inches. That's cool. It's got to be okay. freezing in that attic when it's snowing. No kidding. It is. <laughs> Was it really? How big is the attic? I'm still looking at the attic. Back. How is it? We've got that way is like we've got two cots set up. Nuh-uh. Uh, <laughs> no. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> How long have y'all been up there I again? Believe it. Since June. June, and now we're in March. Damn. Going on a year. So what? Y'all are getting work done on your house? Is it almost finished? It is. It well, is not a good time to be doing that. Well, that's exciting. Can Erica and I come stay with y'all? Uh, you might, yeah, sure. <laughs> you really wouldn't care? It seemed like a pause. There seemed like a, 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 a thoughtful pause before that answer. Last time y'all were here, I got COVID and Christmas was ruined because ruined. of it. And I didn't see y'all. I know. We went back for Christmas and then Vance got COVID. And it so was he couldn't awful. come? We saw him only twice. We saw him outside. <laughs> outside. <laughs> to stay in his attic. Yeah, we saw yeah, him outside. I spent Christmas up here. <laughs> Did, <laughs> that's so sad. It's like a Home Alone attic. That's actually might be kind of fun. Remember in Home Alone, he lives up in the attic? No. <laughs> yeah, Macaulay Culkin lives in the attic. And then his buddy has to go uh, sleep up there the night that something happens because the guy TT's in the bed. Man, rubber I wish I sheets are packed. Yeah, the rubber sheets are packed. Is that what he says in the movie? The line in the movie, yeah. What does he say? Take it easy on the soda. The rubber sheets are packed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the mean uncle says that. To the, to yeah, the that, cousin. that guy's so mean. And then it's just the cousin drinking like a cup of Pepsi. <laughs> There's his attic right there. There's the attic. Look, it looks similar. <laughs> Doesn't it? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> it looks kind of similar. Cool. Well, yeah, Erica and I might come <gasps> soon. And then what was that? <laughs> what? What is that noise? <laughs> what are you talking about? What is that, Vance? <laughs> what is that? What you Do mean. you have a button? <laughs> A button? Are you pressing a button? <laughs> <laughs> Not have a button. Do you have a button for sound effects up there? <laughs> Man, how are you pressing it? <laughs> Stop pressing it, please. Man, what is it? I, I really don't hear anything. That's something you're in. No, uh I don't believe you. Grant, is there a dog in there? <laughs> Most definitely not. There's not. It's how, my it's my beak. How is she doing? She's well. How old is she now? She sees a squirrel and that's what she does. Does she stay up in the attic with y'all? Yeah. No. So there's a little there's a little sliver. There's one of those like round holes above the front door and she can stick her head out and look at squirrels. <laughs> Is that where you look out to see the outside? Are y'all stuck up the, there? To check the weather, yeah. <laughs> like on the uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when he looks out of the little window. That's that's a good visual, yeah. <laughs> what I do every morning. Oh my gosh. That's funny. I didn't realize y'all, I forgot you had said y'all were up there. Yeah. Does Selden ever come visit you? That's our other brother. Does he ever come visit you up there? No. You got to go through my in-law's house to get up here. And he, so I don't have many visitors. <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. When I lived in Denver, Colorado with Alex, I would go party out in the garage till real late. So that was kind of similar because it was exposed wood like that. <laughs> huh. Yeah. <laughs> is, cool. is there like uh, insulation exposed up in the attic up there? Is that, that's like really itchy yeah. if you get it on you. Yeah, I, I think it's asbestos. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Be careful. Yeah, that, that stuff, it always looked like you could eat it, but I don't think you can. Cotton candy insulation? Like candy. Yeah. yeah, it's fiberglass. You shouldn't eat it. Do you eat cotton candy, Vance? <laughs> cotton candy or, or the insulation? <laughs> cotton candy look at that that looks like cotton candy it does i will i've i've 
I've eaten cotton candy. Do I do it often? No. Neither do I. But yeah, I've eaten it before. David, what about you? <laughs> oh, I love cotton candy. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I usually have it a couple times a week. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you can just buy it at the store in those in the package. Oh, I got my own uh, my own spinner. You have a machine? Yeah, yeah. Is it loud? Our own? No, it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was just a real loud machine that made I gotta it pedal come. it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making blue. <laughs> I'm making blue cum. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Vance, yeah, I would totally appreciate it if we could, because when we stay at our parents' house, we have to, Erica and I have to sleep in different rooms. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, we have to sleep in separate rooms. So maybe we could stay in the same room if we stayed with y'all. Huh. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah. I mean, don't answer now or anything. Yeah, just think about yeah, we'll it. we'll talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about it. We're thinking maybe in a couple of weeks. So are we all even going to be in your house in a couple of weeks? I don't think so, but maybe. We're getting close. Cool. What are you having done? Uh... We are, we've been watching a lot of HGTV, so we're knocking <laughs> out our kitchen din wall, open concept. We Ooh. love an open Wait, floor are y'all plan. doing it? Are you doing it? Yeah. No, you're not. You're yeah, doing all course, the construction? Of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be our... So an open floor concept. Ooh, I'm sorry. I started doing these dip pouches, Vance. So I'm not Why? smoking as much. Because I'm not Is smoking. Is better for you? Yeah, it's far better for you. Is it? I'm kidding. I don't know. It's probably not good for my mouth. But our show is yeah, sponsored no by... No kidding. No kidding. But our show is sponsored by a company called Lucy that makes those pouches. So they send them to me. Oh. And I just sit on the couch and play my video games and just put those things in my mouth and go to town. Just buzz? Just buzz hard. I'm buzzing yeah. hard right now. I got one of them, I got one of them too. <laughs> that was a good southern accent. Eric has been doing some <laughs> dumbass southern accent, making fun of my ass all the fucking time. Making fun of my ass all the time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like me. Let's hear, say something else. I, I didn't really hear that. <laughs> I don't know. I have to copy him. Just got. What are you talking about? What are you You're talking so... about? I hate it. <laughs> no, wait till after wait till I finish after a after sentence. Finish. Don't talk finish when I'm talking. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. I hate it. <laughs> Gosh, she does it all the time, Vance. It's driving me insane. It's driving me insane. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I tried to pee on her hand earlier. <laughs> oh my god, stop. In the shower, and then she sprayed me with bleach. It wasn't spray. bleach. It was all purpose cleaner on his leg in the shower. What? Yeah, I tried to prank her by saying the water's too hot, something's in my hair. Reach your hand in here and <laughs> help me out. And when she did, I just ended up TTing on the handles and the loofah. God. Yeah, what's wrong with him? <laughs> what's wrong with him? He said it was and because she sprayed you with. Chemical bleach. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't bleach. <laughs> yeah, luckily I was in the fucking shower, so I could just rinse it off real quick. Y'all got a healthy thing going. On. <laughs> I was spraying the handles and I spritzed him once on the leg. It wasn't bleach. Yeah, it was a light spritz. It was okay. <laughs> it was a light spritz. It was prank. You're thick. looking good, William. Well, you're sweet to say that. I've been hitting the stairmaster a bunch. Mm -hmm. We've been going to the gym. I. Went 150 11? steps, 50 flights of steps yesterday. <laughs> 150 flights of steps would be a, an accomplishment. I doubt you did that. Yeah, I was, what? <laughs> I was on the fucking thing for 30 minutes the first time and 10 minutes the second time, and it went to 150 flights of steps. Great. Yeah. And then I get dizzy up there, and I'm sweating a bunch, and I'm high because I like getting high before it. Do you get high before you do your bike thing? No, I do not. Yeah, and you can't answer that. <laughs> you have a good thing going. You can't answer that. I shouldn't have asked you that. Yeah, I'll get. Does that mean? Huh? What's that, that mean? Good, good job. Don't going? you like your job? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why. And then I'm thinking as I'm saying it, shit, I can't be asking Vance. He can't he's... lose his job now. He doesn't have a kitchen wall. Yeah, now would be a bad time to lose the job. You'd be Toronto. stuck up in the attic the rest the attic. of the time. Sticking <laughs> his head out the hole to see the weather coming in. Pressing that dog bark button all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <clears throat> <laughs> what was the dog barking? <laughs> yeah, the dog bark. I thought it was a button. Might have been. Well, it could have been. You could add something set up where you could press it with your leg. <laughs> like, but, a, like a pedal. Like a pedal. Yeah, you could have a pedal set up. A dog pedal. A dog pedal for the dog noise. <laughs> Fans. <laughs> 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 okay, well, it was very nice talking to you. It's fun to finally see where you've been living. I honestly, I'd never seen it. I know. Well, you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Yeah, we can have you on, and then we can have you at your new place. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, thank you for for having me on. Good to see you, David and Eric. Good to see you, Vance. Bye, Vance. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. That's, <laughs> that's your baby brother. Whoa. Aww. He's yeah. a nice guy. He's so funny. Yeah, Vance is funny. I he I think he had told me that he's up in the attic, but I didn't. You I don't pictured believe like, like that. Uh, I, that it was like some finished attic yeah. or something. No, was, they yeah. were like amongst the shit. That's so know? funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it gets hot and cold. <laughs> <laughs> it probably would be hard to get the a good temperature. temperature's perfect for about two minutes a day. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. it's unbearably extreme one way or the other. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Well, thanks, Vance, for coming on. Yeah, very You're sweet a good man. guy. We need to get Selden on sometime. Mm -hmm. that, and that'll complete the circle, won't it? And then that'll complete the circle. Right on. Cool. Well, today was fun. And I'm sorry Vance was calling you David. He was joking around. What the fuck was he doing? That son of He's a bitch. He's funny. Yeah. He Him and his wife, are, I think they're funny. I met them just briefly, but I thought they were funny. I get mistaken for David Lucas a lot. Actually. Do you? Oh, I yeah, can yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. The the, we wear, the I do tattoos. see that. A yeah, lot of times, we, yeah, we wear the same like. You have pants. lots of sneakers. Yeah. Y'all do wear the same pants often. Yeah. That's yeah. So weird. I'm just thinking about that we right now. We bedazzle our pockets the same way. That's so weird. I had never yeah. thought about that before. Yeah. It happens. I think that's why William likes you. It's part of it, for sure. It's part of it. Mm hmm. Definitely. It's part of it. It was fun today. <laughs> I know. It was fun today. Time. CJ was funny. <laughs> there he is. There's David. See, that almost looks just like me. Similar. It's similar. It but is different. similar. I'm a little bigger. It Do you think so? A little bit. A little bit. Maybe, yeah. I mean. Yeah, because what are you, 5'2", and he's like 5'9"? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the yep, height. Yep, yep, yeah, it must it. be the height <laughs> difference. I never thought about that. Yeah, I've like never seen you difference. guys in the same room. I'll tell See? you that much. That's what I yep. say about that's. <laughs> there's a T-shirt I remember where the guy. It's like, have you ever seen me and Batman in the same room? No, it's another T-shirt. <laughs> God, that one T-shirt, the motorcycle T-shirt, that's a funny one. That's a funny one. Yep, my bitch fell off. My bitch fell off, and I didn't go back to pick her up or anything. <laughs> I'm just riding. Because I had the shirt on, it wouldn't have been funny. Yep. It was perfect timing. Perfect timing for her to fall off. What if she fell off and you didn't have that shirt on? You'd be like, ah, god damn. Yeah, I gotta go back and get her. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go circle around. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. 
The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.